I'm going to show you a super quick and easy way to create a custom Google map, which is also vectorized so you can customize it yourself further inside of Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. We're going to be doing this in snazzy maps and the link is going to be in the description below. It's free. There's a whole bunch of preset styles which you can choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and find one that I like the look of. I'm sort of going for something without any labels. This grayscale style looks pretty nice. I'm just going to click on that and that's going to bring up this new custom map. Now I haven't found a way of searching for an actual place. I think at the moment it's showing New York in America. But if you just zoom out and fly to the location that you want, I'm actually wanting somewhere in Tasmania. So I'm going to just scroll down here. I want something around Hobart near the River Derwent. Now already, if we just wanted to take this and bring it into Illustrator or Photoshop, we could do so or we can actually do quite a lot of customization inside of snazzy maps. And so if I come up to this customize button up the top here, and I now have a full list of different things we can change the color and style of. So for example, if I want the water to all be blue, I can come down here, click on water, go to geometry fill, and let's say the visibility is on, change it to a custom color, and let's make this a blue. Already you can see that's changed the color of water all over the map, to blue, which is really cool. What I would use to do is go into Photoshop, take something from Google Earth or Google Maps and trace over it. That's not the way to do it. This is perfect. And so if you want to say turn on labels, you can do so under text and you can turn on labels. And now this is going to show this is the River Derwent. But I'm going to keep that off for now. We just want it to be simple. And so you can go through all these other different things. If you want to turn on just schools, you can turn on where schools are and make it in a red color or something. If you have different businesses or parks, you can make all the parks green. In fact, let's do that. So I'm going to come over to park, fill under geometry, visibility on and custom color to green. Now all the parks are in green, which is very cool. So now to export this out, we're going to bring this into Illustrator and make this a vector item. So that way, even if you haven't gotten exactly how you want it to look in snazzy maps, you can still bring it into Illustrator or Photoshop as a vector object, which can be scaled unlimitedly without any resolution loss. So if I come over to download image where it says new, what I'm going to do is click on that and it's going to ask you to register, which isn't a hassle. It literally takes two seconds. I'm just going to put in my name, email and create a password. In fact, I could probably use any email I wanted for this. I might go test one at test.com test 100 and whatever doesn't matter. I'm going to make the password something. I bet you can guess what it is. I'm going to register and Bob's your uncle, you're in, you don't even have to use your proper email address. Now, if I click download image, you can see that it's got a little crosshair in the section of which we're taking the picture from. I'm going to just bring out the dimensions to be a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, the largest area we can get. If you want an area that's larger than this, which is already pretty damn big, then what you have to do is stitch together those different images inside of Photoshop or Illustrator, which I won't do here because this should serve most people. The scale factor, we're going to make the largest, so it's the highest resolution. And now we're just going to click download image and you can get 10 downloads per day per account, or you can just create new accounts if you run out of um, images. I'm just going to save out this image and we'll call it River Derwent. And so now if you wanted to, you could bring this into Photoshop and it looks pretty damn good. It's going to be 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels, except if we want this to be vectorized and to be able to have control over all of the different lines and rivers and parks and whatnot, we can go into Illustrator and make this a vector. And so I'm just gonna open this up in Illustrator, scroll out a bit. And what we're gonna be using is the image trace tool, which is gonna be perfect for what we need. If you haven't used this before, it pretty much turns any rasterize or any image into a vector image. So let's click on image trace here under quick actions. I'm going to use any of these first five options, high fidelity down to 16 colors. But because there's less than six colors, I'm gonna use that. Yes, this is gonna be fine. Let's click okay. And this might take under a minute. And so what this is doing is turning this into a vector image with access to all of these different paths. Now you can see it's still one image. So we need to click expand and we're also gonna ungroup it. We've got access to each and every single one of these lines and they are all individual paths, which is awesome because now what we can do is change the color of any of these. We can select different paths and make them into different thicknesses. In fact, if we wanted this path to instead be a much larger stroke, we could make this a, let's say 40 point stroke 
with a fill or with a color that is let's say a red and that's a big difference but you can see that each of these points and each of these parts are editable now. And what you could also do is then bring this into Photoshop. You could export this out as an Illustrator file and import it into Photoshop. Or I'm just going to copy everything, go into Photoshop and paste it in a new file. And you can do this as layers. So then each path is on a different layer or you can make them all paths. In fact, let's make this on each and every single path is going to be on a different layer. There you can see we've got 2074 different layers. But now what we can do is say select just this red line. Let's say we didn't want it to be red anymore. I'm just going to delete that. There we go. Now let's say we didn't want the river to be blue. What I can do is actually select this and being a path, we can press the P tool or the U tool. They're both going to bring up the same option. But if I bring up pen tool by pressing P, you can see that we can change the fill and stroke of this. So I'm going to change the fill to let's say be purple. Now you can see that rivet has turned purple and there's no tracing around it with the lasso tool or the magic wand tool like you would by inserting a Google Maps image. It's super easy. In fact, you can scale this up to whatever scale that you want. It's not going to lose resolution because it's vectorized and it's just perfect for what we need. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped.